You are traveling through another dimension, a dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that, of imagination. Your next stop. The mind of Detective Cole Phelps. We are here today because our detective has a case. A case of intrigue. A case, of murder. Today, we shall join him as he unravels the knot of justice. I must warn you, dear viewer, that this particular case may not be suitable for all ages. Do not fear clicking away. Not all can bear witness to the gory realities of 1940s Los Angeles. It all begins at breakfast. Ah, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Naked? Another naked woman, sir? Yes. Ooh. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia Fiend first struck. That looks Don't really good. Lightly trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Can I have some? Well, young Phelps, you win some and you just lose some. Like a little piece. Okay. Happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness. Sorry. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. Okay, all right, uh, one second. I'm just, you know, I came here for breakfast. I didn't think I'd run into you guys. Can I just, uh, I'd like to place an order real, sir? Sir, I just want, all right, I'll come down here by you. Just looking for some food. I'll have a, oh, all right, we're going to play that game, huh? I mean, that's fine. Got to clean those cups. I'll just come by you. That won the medal and is solving all the cases? That's me. Can I get a link sausage? All right. I see how it is. We don't treat cops with respect. Oh, but you'll talk to her. That's great. That's fine. All right. I'm coming. Screw this place. Even though your homemade beef stew is delicious and only 17 cents, which is just a great deal. He's already in the car. He's just in the car waiting for me. I'm coming. You know, why can't you drive? Maybe I'd like a little rest every now and then, huh? Do you ever think of that? Ooh, wow, you are a big fella. Do you have to buy two seats on a plane when you fly? Because... Woofta. All right, we're going to a crime scene. Setting as destination. I hope you're ready to drive with a professional. It's going to be a nice, smooth drive. Don't even worry about it, sir. I don't know if you heard, but I won a, a street race a little while ago. It was, it was really cool. One of my finest moments, really, as a member of the force. Really proud of myself. And we're turning. Nope, oh, excuse me. Oh, no. Oh, I, I, good thing that's police property, right? Because because we don't have to pay for it then. Oh, let's get out of here. And I'm guessing that cop car up there means we're here. Hello, boys. What up, officer? Detectives, they're ready to start the show. Ooh, a I'll show. Take you, through. you like that? I'm excited. Brothers, pick up. Oh, wow. Of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Okay. Welp, we are demonetized. Can we blur this? Am I blurring this right now? Really hope I'm blurring this. She is very naked. That's great. All right, what do we have here? Let me just kiss, kiss the, the blood. blood. BD. It's going to put my hand okay. right there. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. Oh, shit. No skin under the fingernails. That is brutal. Just ripped off the ring. Can I touch you? Oh, I can. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. I'm a dead body. <laughs> we have we have fun, don't we guys? We have fun on the job. Ooh. Lacerations on the neck. Look at that. Indicate a great deal of force. That is brutal. Lacerations on the arm. Oh, she's holding something. What are you holding, man? Let's take a gander at this. Only 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? 
The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's Jeez. salary is a copy. Strangled, battered, yeah, naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Hmm. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. This poor woman. Oof. Not a... Hey, whoa. Did anyone follow the blood trail? That's just like leading off into the distance? No? You are. He's on it. Okay, what else we got? What is this? Huh. I'm just gonna pick that up. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. And he took off... Is this a, this is a sock, right? Yeah, it's a stocking. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Oh, you guys did document something over here. What is this? A bloody hat. Interesting. Oh, it's her hat. Can I wear it? Darn it. Thought that would help me get into her mind. Um, anything in the trash cans? Maybe he dumped something? No? I guess we'll continue following the blood here. Well, you'll want to come and take a look at this. Will I? I just... Dude, I looked at that already. Okay. Just following the blood. I'm not kidding, Bell. Holy Stop shit. Me. Okay. Now. Dude, I already looked at it. It's a hat. I tried to put it on, okay? Look, I'm here. Hey, look. It's a hat. I saw the hat, okay? Blood trail, blood trail. <gasps> Aha. Uh -huh. A I'm shoe. To the scene, plus the blood stains. No way is this coincidence. People are really bad at throwing away, like, evidence. They just put it on top of trash. Very bad. This blood just keeps going. Hello, sir. Don't mind me? We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Oh, I will ruin that very quickly. Blood? Whoa, what is this? A key. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. Can I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The string, the string is too strong for my weak little arms. We'll continue following the blood. Big splatter right here on the wall. What? Why is? Where did this blood come from? And what do we have here? Um, that's got to be a code or a cipher. Two, five, three. It's like dice marks. Very weird. Is this where the blood ends? Oh wait, no, there's a mark on where the wall. Are you taking us. Which means it goes up, I'm guessing. Oh. You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. Interesting. A pigeon coop. There's something here. A letter. Eh. Is it empty? Empty? Where is all of this meant to be taking us? Mrs. A. Mendeberg. He really these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you it wasn't our guy. Or he might just be getting more confident. Oh, oh you freaked me out there, man. There's some blood splatter right over here. Oh, what is this? It's like a makeup palette? Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. Huh. <laughs> Whatever. I guess we're climbing even higher. What is going on? He went even higher. But first he touched this. Ooh! There is the bloody wedding ring. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? That is really rough. Is this construction or was this where the guy was peeping on her? 
In Anatomy of Power, Dr. Leonard Feynman. Hmm, Dr. Feynman, I'm going to be on the lookout for you. You're going to smell like sardines. Oh, crap. Hey, partner. Hey, look at me. Look at... Uh, we have fun. Guess we have to climb once again. Ooh. I was wondering where all this blood was coming from, and he had a paint bucket full of it? Holy shit. That is... Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. That is brutal. That is really brutal. Bucket of blood? And I guess this is the final clue? Hmm. Ugh. Uh, ho ho! The other half of the library card. Son of a bitch, once are identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. This is one intense case. Let's go check out Antonia's residence here, shall we? Excuse me, gentlemen. I'm off to solve this bitch. Here we are. Or, ahem. Is this, oh, is this not it? Apologies, just down a little further. Excuse me, ma'am. 1.18 p.m. This is it, all right. Uh, it's locked. Wait just a moment. Oh, you seem very pleasant. Hello, ma'am. Just the cops. I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. My pleasure. Wipe your feet as you come in, detective. Um, okie dokie. Do, 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 wiping my feet. All right. All clean for you. Just come right in. This is lovely, by the way. Very beautiful. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Yeah, that's, that's murder. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Thank you so much for your assistance. You ponder death. We'll be right back. Last door on the left. That would be this one. Number five. Is it just open? Perfect. Oh, what shit. What are we waiting for? Did I just opened the door. Shut it. This doesn't look good. Did you look at that? Someone's turned the place over. Damn. A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. What did they use? A fire so poker? broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. wonder where it was taken from. Looks like a fence you know, post, maybe? Wait, how do you feel about windows? Who has feelings about windows? That's weird. What are you packing here, ma'am? Okay, we have an address. Uh, good. Antonia Frederick D. Tatterball. <laughs> Tatterball. What a great name. Aww. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Oh, interesting. They were so beautiful together, though. I mean, you don't have to wear a charm bracelet all the time, you know. Hey, Cole. Let's get moving. All right, we can go back downstairs. I think that's everything here. Hello, ma'am. We just have a couple of questions for you, if that's all right. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Thank you. Aw, she's really happy. I like you. You don't get drawn on because you're a winner. Just a nice old lady, unless you lie to me. Then... You get the drawing. Possible suspects. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband. Angel. 
She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. <laughs> I do like you. Uh, I think you are telling me the truth. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. Mm hmm. He was cruel to her, very cruel. Hmm. She was a good girl, little on the religious side, but a good girl. Where did she run around? What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. <laughs> she was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Mmm, see, so you did the whole, you're looking at the feet, and you did a whole shifty eye, which tells me a bad cop. A nosy old hag like you knows everything oh, about shit. the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. <gasps> a bar? She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. Mm. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. <laughs> That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. <laughs> oh, white people are the worst in the 40s. Uh, evidence of a break-in. You've had a break-in? No. <laughs> that can't be true. Um, I mean... There, there was literally a broken window. And the way you said no, oh. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. I think you do. Broken window right there. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. Mm -hmm. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. Uh, you have a reputation to protect. Oh, you're not the nice old lady I once thought you were, so you are getting some vampire fangs. Hiss! Tell me a little bit more about this divorce. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. Um, it wasn't because she had the charm bracelet, right? And we have a picture of that as evidence. So accuse again. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Oh, why do people keep lying to me? I'm the greatest truth getter ever. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. Oof, feisty. The hired help at the El Dorado might have seen the bride the night she died. I'm sorry, but if you're done, I have a house to clean. Oh, <laughs> Get to it, ma'am. You know, and here's, look at me, rubbing my dirty feet on your carpets. Yeah, bet you didn't like that. Don't lie anymore. Peace. Let's head to the Maldonado residence first, and then we can go get some drinks at the bar, okay? Oh, this is a train tracks tunnel. This is not a driving tunnel. Oh, God. Oh, God, we should not be here. I'm so sorry. We're going to be fine. We just got to get out of here. And Yui... Look at that, look at that. Okay, we're gonna actually climb this hill because I think we have to go up here. So this is just an expert maneuver. Oh, perfectly good. Yep, beautiful. And that's how it's done. Hmm. Mother's coming in tonight on the train. Do, do, do. And you, uh, right there. 304. 304. Doors open? Yeah. Oh, this place is really cool. Is that a cockfight? The 1940s were a weird time. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Um. What the hell? Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Oh, I was watching myself. Whoa! Huh, oh, oh, it's on. It's on. 
Ow. It's been a while since I've been in a fist fight. Hey, dude, I just watched myself come into your apartment. It was really weird. Um, I hope you're doing okay. Is there, a, is there a particular reason that we're fighting? Because I'm not really sure. You know, I trusted you. Oh, uppercut to the chin parts. People in the 40s could take a lot of hits. Got him. Ooh, nice punch. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Cop these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Oh, Call oh. for some backup, Finbar. This is weird. Why am I watching myself? Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I'd kill my own wife? Hmm. We should get the whole place of going over, then talk to the neighbor. Guess we're gonna check for clues. Sorry about your hat. You had, a, you had a good fight there, huh? Evidence, evidence, evidence. Box of cigs. El Dorado El bar. Dorado must be a family favorite. Interesting. Everywhere leads back to the old El Dorado. Hoo -ha, hoo -ha, yeah. What is that? Fruit market. Just picked fruit market. Interesting. Very interesting. Maybe. I don't know. Why do we care if he just got fruit? Hey, uh, partner? Literally. Right this behind you. This will take you. some explaining. That is one bloody shirt. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi. He's toast. Hmm. You're right. Let's see what they say. M. Hello? Hello, sir. Want? Nice LAPD. pajamas. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No, I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that guy was a character. All right, let's check with another neighbor. 303? Hello. No good. Nobody here. 301? Oh, shh! Sorry about that. I'm playing with my Oh, kids. my God. LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated. I don't uh, I need to know that. Night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. No, but... Wait, I... All right, one more door. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Thank you. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Whoa. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Hmm. Let's get the hell out of there. We've got Angel at the station, but I want to check at the bar before we go there. To the El Dorado bar we go. I mean, that way, you know, wouldn't hurt if we just grab a drink or two, right? The El Dorado bar. Hello, everybody. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. 
<laughs> oh shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Face. Hell no. But she was good and tight last night complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. Hmm. I'll show you. Thank you. Yeah. Angel Maldonado. By hand. Divorce papers. Oh, shit. Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Uh, can you tell me about a charm bracelet, maybe? Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. <laughs> uh, this city is seriously full of the worst liars I've ever met. A bad cop. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested oh. she try there. She seemed reluctant. Another notice toward the fruit market. Um, where'd she go? Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Yeah, that actually makes sense. I, I believe that. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? Oh, I Do will. Best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Hmm. Where's that goddamn waitress? While we're here, can I get a can I get a drink? Like maybe a can I get a just whiskey on the rocks actually, or a whiskey sour, if that'll do ya. Um, uh, just literally pour me, pour me a drink, please. Why does no one serve me? Do I have a weird face? What's going on back what here? Are we waiting for? There's an open door. I just want to kind of look through it. Oh. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal. Just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market <laughs> delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. We found a crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. You know anything about that? What? <laughs> no, we deliver all over the place, officer. No tell them where the boxes end up. Excuse me, I have to get on with this. Fine, thanks. Hmm. It's a little suspicious. Yeah. Just hop into your car. All right. Pull out of here in a hurry. It's a little weird. Are you seriously just waiting in the car? Um, the the fruit market is literally right here. Can we just? God, fine. Yeah, no, we'll drive. You want to be in the car? We'll drive. Car 11 K. Car 11 King. Come in. Is that us? Uh, all right. I'm gonna set a destination. Hello? Car 11 King responding. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. Ooh. Interesting. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. And now we sent another. I really hate this buck. This Black Dahlia guy. Seen the body? Fucking case to turn out the way of your guts. Every prom queen, every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gut is on the fucking sidewalk. Alright, we're here. Oh. I it's so weird watching myself. Shut. Great. We'll need to come back huh. later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. Um. All right. Why is a fruit market closed in the middle of the day? What's going on over here? 
Oh, wait. Shit. Is that the... That's the murder alley. That's where she was killed. It was right in front of the fruit market? That's weird. Very weird. Since this place is closed, let's go to the police station. And we're here. I got you. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Mouthpiece store strips off me. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. This information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The hmm. new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. Hmm. My prints now. Heap upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. Ill deeds then be Heap thou upon damned. Thy soul by virtue or of this curse. You can read it. Or don't. And beholding good, both infinite and is the universe, and thou thy self torturing. This is really good. This is really good stuff. Ooh, okay, fruitless crime. Hmm. Hmm. No one? No one wants uh, the fruit market, guys. The fruit market. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Is it? Can I, um, I don't know. That's why we called you in. Any of that think means. It's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley. Sure, I knew that. Stop touching it. See, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Oh, we'll break him. Hello. <gasps> Hello. Ooh. Last time I was here, I did a little bit of a dance number. Would you like to, uh, would you like to join me? Would you like to join me in a bit of a dance? No? That's good. You're a good lad. Um, don't mind me. I'm just getting you warmed up for what I'm about to destroy you in this interview. Punk, you hear me? This is going to get brutal. You may want to leave the room for this, okay? Quit staring at me like that. Oh, don't you tell me how to stare. Because I'm going to stare at you, boy. I'm going to stare at you. Improved your attitude, Angel. What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. Oh, I think that's a lie. All right, estranged victim. Ooh, look at me. I am Angel, and I'm just smoking a big old doobie here. So when was your last contact so with the victim? So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. You are such a liar. Uh, I'm going to accuse you because I think I have proof that it was after midnight. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. But I know you weren't at home because the one lady, uh, husband's alibi. Yes, a Renata. She said you never came back. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. Hmm. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. Hmm. Brown Ford, did it look... Anything 
like this. Huh? Was that the car? Was that it? Guess not. Divorce proceedings. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Um, I mean, you were. I don't know if she ever gave him the papers, though. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't know. I, uh, I kind of believe him. Good cop. You deny killing your wife? Of course I deny it. Why would I kill my woman? All right. Uh, there was jewelry taken from the body, including the when wedding we found ring. found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. All right, yeah, I think everyone said she was wearing that necklace. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Hmm. I believe you there. And, uh, can you tell me about that shirt, please? Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. <laughs> oh, sir, I doubt that. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolito, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had to sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. Oh. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. No more. I've had enough. You hear that? Did such a good job, I made him tap out. Come on, partner. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, we need to go to the fruit market. Like, real bad. The creep was running his eyes over his wife, huh? And everything has come back to the fruit market. I like your mustache, sir. Let's pay this creep a visit. I wonder if the creep is the guy we met in the back alley of the El Dorado bar. I bet it is. Oh, that's a truck. We're good. Excuse me, excuse me, just a shortcut through the park. I wanted to, oh no, oh these bushes. Wow, these bushes are really hard. There's the El Dorado, and there is the fruit market. Oh, let's see what they've got to say now. Is that the guy? That is the guy. Um, can I, can I move? Can I come? <laughs> ah, there we go. That's the guy. The creepy, creepy guy. Ooh. Wow, nice melons. Really good. Good stuff here. Oh, what is this? Plum? It's a big old purple thing. That's what. <laughs> These look like... Alright. Anyway, let's go get that creep. Why... Hello there. Do you remember me? Because I remember you. Excuse me. Sir, I'm the... Wait. You look familiar. Mm-hmm. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? You do. You LAPD. bring me here. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney. What can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? I ask because you killed her. Clem Feeney, huh? Who would name themselves Clem? Well, I guess it would be your, your parents, right? Is it short for Clementine? Because that'd be, that'd be, you know, kind of cute. Uh, anyway, distinctive necklace. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You oh. weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. You know what, Feeney? I'm thinking you did notice. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. 
I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. <laughs> you're a, you're a creepy, creepy guy. Uh, tell me about your Young contact. Lady arrived around midnight. Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. <laughs> Those eyes tell me you're a liar. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Now, she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. <laughs> you're so smug. Holy shit. That is... Yeah, you're creepy. Not gonna lie. Where'd she go? Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. All right, I believe you. This mystery car. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. Th that's the one. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. <laughs> I got a call back for that universal chorus line. Congratulations. You're going to be really good in that. Clem, she's not going to be very good hey, in that. I answered your questions, okay? All right. Sorry, we won't be friends. Let's find some clues. This door with the light looks very suspicious. All right. Ugh. Hmm. That's a lot of liquor. Holy no damn. It stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Yeah. I'll do that. Wow. Couple bottles on the side, my ass. Hmm. Mm hmm. Is that a scalpel? Why cut someone who was already dead? What it's the a hell? It's power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. So he probably didn't kill her? But he. He carved the message in her, maybe? That's really creepy. God, Clem, you're such a creep. What is this? Oh, wait. Is this the... Twist the knobs on the box by holding the trigger? Um... This thing needs a combination. Oh, shit, wait, don't I have... Didn't we find that, like, right at the beginning? Do, 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 dot pattern note. Two, five, three. All right, two, four, five, three. So yes. what are we hiding in here? Oh, is this the, this the charm bracelet? I bet it is. Yeah. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Hey, Clem. Clem. Oh, Clem, you. Oh shit, there I go. Look at me. I'm so speedy. Whoa. Oh god. Clem. You, you bastard. Oh, we're getting in the car. Whoa, it's another car chase. Oh, we are so on him. Don't worry. Where is he going? Yeah. Oh, oh god. He's such a good driver. Excuse me. Oh, she's dead. She's very dead. Why is my hat on? Oh, that's her purse. Clem. You can't, you can't get away from me. I'm probably the best driver this side of any side of Los Angeles. You, oh, so many fruit stands. Oh, God. That's fine. Oh, Clem. You're driving like I drive. Is this what it looks like to watch me? Oh, damn. Clem, I'm coming for you. You can't escape me. You can't escape me at all. Clean this asshole off the road. Right on his tail. Just gotta stick with him. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, did you see that? Gotcha, Clem. You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. Thank you. The poor woman can now rest in peace. 
I'll pay the fee and the personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. Good. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Oh. Huh. On your way. Oh. Why? Why do I keep watching myself? So weird. Are you gonna... You taking that for yourself? That's probably not legal. 